Dubai Sochi, tomorrow at 2000 and 2200, live on Eurosport. Good evening and welcome on Eurosport for our last roundup program of these 22nd Winter Olympic Games. The closing ceremony has officially ended these games here in Russia. Three medals were in stake today and Norway and Russia battled to take the first spot of the final medal count. Let's have a look at what we have prepared for you tonight. Here I am in Quebec City to meet the new half-pipe world champion, Yuri Podlachikov. And I think oh, it's here. Here it is. Oop. Hey, hi Yuri. In Switzerland, it's three. Oh, it's three? Oh, I didn't know that. Wow, that's okay. nice. Is that because you're a gold medalist that you have a plate no, like this? No, it's just because I have great taste. You know? Where's your gold medal? Let's, let's sit down, I'll show it to you. Oh, okay, let's go. This is the second day of the Snowboard World Championships. We're very, very happy to welcome Spencer O'Brien, who is the gold medalist of yesterday's slope style, as well as Phoebe Mills. She is one of the six judges for the Big Air Final that will be happening in a few, in a few minutes. Gwendal, a lot of controversies before the beginning of these games. Can you give us your personal feedback and your personal feeling after the two weeks? Well, it's more than personal. I spend a lot of time with uh, the athletes. We are 1,600 kilometers south of Moscow. Everyone is ready for the 22nd edition of the Winter Olympics. Jeez, it's heavy, yeah? It looks a little bit golden. Yeah, <laughs> it's nice. No, definitely means a lot to me, especially since... Should I put that um, here? Sure, you, you, can, sure? you can keep it if you want. <laughs> here you are. <laughs> Hello and welcome. I am very pleased to gather today Arnaud Simon, director of TV Contents for your sport group. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. As well as Arnaud Maillard, director of New Media. It's also, you know, the fans, the athletes uh, on the ground, uh, outside of the training grounds, so that we, we, we bring a lot more than just uh, uh, hard news. It's hard news plus social plus original. It's only on Eurosport. What about the Olympic Games, Arnaud? Can you tell us about the setup for this? Yes, I mean, Olympic Games will have exactly the same approach. Bonjour, Romain, vous finissez ce premier tour par un moins 4, vous êtes en tête pour le moment. Vous pouvez nous parler un petit peu plus de la journée Bref, c'est une très bonne journée pour moi. Un score de moins 4 sur ce parcours, c'est vraiment un très bon score. Est-ce que c'est plus de pression quand on, quand on est finalement, quand on joue à la maison Forcément, il y a un peu plus de pression parce qu'on est devant nos parents, nos amis. The competition is then over for them, as well as for Slovenia, who lost 5-0 against Sweden. The USA and Canada are just about to finish their game, as you can see, against Czech Republic. <laughs> well done, Norway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for your feedback on this event. Thank you very much for coming back in the studio with you, carrie -Anne. You stay with me because uh, we will have a look at the results of the day in Krasnaya. The men were competing in the cross-country 4 by 10 kilometers relay event, whilst the ladies were fighting for the gold medal on the border cross track on their snowboards. So let's see the outcomes of these events. Our next appointment is in August for the most famous regatta, the Rolex Fastnet Race. So be there for refreshing pictures. Fantastic, I can't wait for that battle. See you after for the interviews. See you later. So let's join the commentators. Bye. This is it for our second show of the evening. I will see you tomorrow for the latest results and more exciting previews. I leave you with the best of social medias. I remind you that you can react to the show by logging onto Twitter, hashtag Davai Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow on Eurosport. Davai!